What's up? And welcome to Surging Ahead. This is Brett, and today we're going to talk about the new Tesla Model S and Model X refresh and where they are. Uh, so back in January, Tesla announced the refresh Model S and X, um, showcasing a brand new interior and some slight enhancements to the exterior. I uh, put them up for order and announced delivery in Q1 of 2021. And here we are, April 7th, and still no customer deliveries. So what's going on? Well, there are some rumors and speculation, so let's go ahead and dig right in. So before we dig into what's going on with the refresh, let's start by just looking at what it is. Um, so we'll mostly focus on the Model S because most of the changes happen on the interior and the Model S and X are identical. Um, so yeah, we'll show the X quickly, but you know, here's uh, some quick rundown of what changed. Here's the Model S, uh, the plaid version is what they're showing in this picture. Um, and like I said, the big differences are on the interior. So changed out the uh, portrait display with a nice large landscape one. Um, and big change here and the yoke steering wheel. Um, consoles refreshed. Uh, the HVAC is now similar to the Model 3 and Y with the uh, long piece here. Um, no steering, or sorry, no turn signal stock or shifting stock. Um, more on that later. Uh, cycle through here. Uh, once again, the yoke steering wheel. And then the rear seats and the small screen back here. Um, yeah, but I think the, uh, the big difference there is the no stock, no shifting. Once again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, some other quick shots here, active noise cancellation. Otherwise, you know, some small things changed here. So the X pretty much identical, just the Chrome delete and slight refresh touches elsewhere, but yeah, interior wise, pretty much the same changes that the S had. So Tesla announced all of that in January of 2021. Um, and when they brought that out, they allowed the Model S and X to be purchased at that point. And they talked about a Q1 delivery for them. Um, and we are now uh, April 7th and there have been no deliveries to customers. Um, we did get an update in the quarter four conference call. Um, I can't remember when that was, but it would have been towards the end of January, shortly after these were first released in which Elon said that deliveries will start in February. Um, and like I said, early April, still no deliveries. Um, and so kind of want to discuss what's going on with that. Um, we've seen several sightings. And these sightings are pretty easy to find on Reddit. I'll go ahead and post uh, links to everyone I bring up here. And out of respect for the creators, I will not show the video content um, for some of these, but the links will have it so you can watch it there. Um, but here's some shots. Uh, this one, most recently, I uh, found in Golden Gate Park. As you can see, this one has the yoke steering wheel. This one, just random ones. This one has the standard steering wheel. So I'll go back that way for a second. There you can see the rear screen in that one. This one was in Texas, or sorry, Florida. This person got to sit inside of it. Took some screenshots. Here's a new UI. 
And this person has a video of the OS refresh, which I will not be displaying here, but you should go check it out. Um, once again, I'll have the link to the video in the, or the description of the video. Um, and then this person has a video on how you can manually shift the car instead of smart shift. Um, and so I think these two videos may have a lot to do with what's going on and not getting delivery yet. And then the third big possibility of that is this yoke steering wheel, which the NHTSA told Tesla Roddy, um, and I quote, the NHTSA is aware of the recently launched Tesla steering yoke in certain Model S vehicles. We requested and received information from Tesla about the steering yoke, and we remain actively engaged with the company during our review. NHTSA routinely engages with auto manufacturers and suppliers to better understand the technologies and features they develop and introduce to the U.S. fleet. Um, so this is in result or in response to Tesla Roddy asking them if you know it's in compliance with uh, national standards, um, and. As that response indicates, it's under review. So I think those last three links are probably the key to what's going on. Uh, the first big possibility, and actually my opinion, probably the most likely reason for the delay, is smart shift. Um, so this is the feature where the Tesla automatically chooses which gear to put the vehicle in so you don't have to select drive or reverse or park it just knows and does it for you um i think personal opinion that this may be dependent on the full self-driving beta which has been delayed beyond what i believe elon thought it would be so we're now a good month and a half past when he originally thought he'd be able to release this to everybody. And I don't think that smart shift will work correctly without having this feature set enabled. Um, I think it relies too much on the AI and navigation parts of full self-driving beta. And without those, I just don't think it'll work. So my personal opinion, the biggest reason for the delay is likely the inability to shift or to ship with smart shift. Um, I don't know that to be true, uh, but that is my guess on what's going on. And I don't think they want to ship it using the manual shift method as was displayed in uh, that Reddit thread, which is posted at the bottom. Um, in which case they have kind of a picture of the vehicle on the left side here i'll bring it up again yeah so right there you see the picture of the car um let's go back um on his video you could swipe up to make the car go forward so kind of swipe swipe up or you'd swipe down to make it go backward and you know that's a manual method um there are also ways to shift apparently with this uh I think it's the left one um, stock on the steering wheel. So uh, that's, I don't think he wants to ship it pro and force people to use that. I think since he announced it, he really wants to be able to ship the vehicles, smart shift fully working. So the other big piece here, um, the other clue is in the video, where they talk about the Model S uh, Refresh OS. Um, the Tesla community has been waiting for months now for the second half of the holiday update, which many in the community believe to be V11 of the Tesla OS. Um, and if you watch the videos walking through the new Model S Refresh OS, it is 100% V11. But that has not shipped to any cars that are currently in the fleet. Um, and there's some unknown reason why nobody has gotten that. Uh, could be linked to the full self-driving beta stuff, or another reason, nobody that's saying anything, 
knows why it's delayed. But we're now at 2021.4, so an OS from the fourth week of 2021.12, which is big numbers, lots of different versions of that. And I think it's actually 12.6 or 12.5 is the most recent one that's come out. Um, so a lot of iteration on a OS version that came out or that was compiled in the fourth week of January. Once again, we're in April. That may seem normal for most car manufacturers, but Tesla almost always is releasing new OSs. So to see a big freeze like this means that likely there's a big OS update, and it could be that this OS update is not working correctly in the new Model S or Model X, and until they get this all sorted out, they can't ship those vehicles. Um, I, once again, don't know if that's the answer, but it does seem like a possibility. Um, a, as we mentioned, the steering yoke regulatory approval. Um, it could be that he doesn't want to ship the cars until steering yokes are approved. But we have seen versions of the Model S and Model X with steering wheels. So they could certainly ship the versions of the Model S and X that have the wheel instead of the yoke to get around that. Although there's no easy way to configure your Model S or X that way. So that could be the factor that's causing them to not ship now. But I think if that were the case, um, there are areas of Europe where the approval has, you know, where, where it has been approved to ship with that. So, you know, they could ship those orders before they do the ones in America if that were the issue causing them not to deliver them here. Uh, but I don't believe that's the case. Um, and in the deliveries report, they showed no manufacturing. So it could be a manufacturing issue. But with all the sightings out there, it just seems unlikely. I think they're making them. Um, there have been lots of sightings of the vehicles in the production staging lots as well that they put their finished cars in before they ship them out. Um, we've even seen truckloads full of Teslas um, of the new Model S and X refresh versions on trucks. So we know they have made some. We know they're out there. We know people are driving them. But they're not delivering them yet. Um, I guess the final possibility, and I think this one's very small because I don't think they're making enough to really matter, but there are shortages in the Ryzen chipset that they are using for the new MCU to power the dual screens, or I guess three screens of the new Model S and Model X. Um, and it could be that shortages in those processors are delaying their activity, but I don't think... I don't think Tesla is shipping such a massive amount of these a quarter that they would struggle to get their order placed for that. Um, big quarters for the Model S and X have been 25,000 units. So 25,000 Ryzen's I don't think would be a problem for AMD slash TSMC to deliver to Tesla. So I don't think those are the problems. I think our problems are much more likely one of those first two, which is the OS refresh or smart shift. Um, I guess let me know what you guys think. This has been Surging Ahead with uh, Brett. Um, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks.